All right, guys. Perfect Phoenix is well. Perfect Phoenix, the current reigning, defending, undisputed right spin defense stamina hybrid champion of the world. Ignition dash because it's top tier in both same spin and opposite spin. Takara Tomi made a ruling on electric drivers that requires it to be turned on before the match just to show that it's working. Perhaps there have been cases of cheating wherein solid metal replicas of batteries were used instead to add more weight. Anyhow, it is recommended that you turn it off and Papa Bay means turn it off after proving that it works to your opponent. The most important thing you have to know about electric drivers is that Look, if you have to shoot me, then you go ahead and you shoot me but I have to answer this phone, alright? I'm here. Okay? I understand. Bye. Guys, I'm sorry for that interruption. Papa Bay is shook. But the show must go on. Why not outer? Based from the results of my outer versus zero zero cross versus wheel review, zero zero cross beats outer in both same spin and opposite spin. To view the full 10 round battles, please go to the topmost pinned comment in the comment section. In this round, 0-0 Cross took the center, but Ignition Dash won't be denied and bullied it to submission. Here, 0-0 Cross even made Ignition Dash scrape near the end, but it still wasn't enough to secure the win. Why not wheel? It's a huge burst risk without a dash driver. In actuality, this is more of a test between Extend Plus and Ignition Dash, so let's see what happens. Wheel took the center most of the time, but Ignition Dash still willed its way to win in the end. In both Perfect Phoenix matches, using Ignition Dash made it want the center more than its opponent, which helped it secure a bootload of wins. This is an interesting matchup as both Hybrid and Ignition Dash are so similar physically. In actuality, this is more of a test between Perfect Phoenix and Master Spriggan. In Round 2, Ignition Dash wanted the center more in the end game. This round was interesting as it culminated in a rare same spin draw. Now let's see how would it fare against a top tier stationary attacker. The 
the height of ignition dash rendered most of Brave Hyperion's stationary attacks not as useful compared to when it can directly hit the perfect Phoenix layer. Layer versus layer, it also falls behind in stamina due to perfect Phoenix more ideal circular shape. As a result, it was a massacre complements of perfect Phoenix. How would it perform against a top tier spin equalizer? Let's find out! And there you have it! It won against a Vanguard bearing combo. So what makes this combo good? There are a couple of reasons. First, for the current meta, Electric drivers are arguably the strongest overall. Ignition Dash shamed both the 00 Cross Extend Plus and Wheel Extend Plus versions of Perfect Phoenix. Second, the increased height of Ignition Dash makes judgment on standard height drivers like Extreme Dash, Quick Dash, or Destroy Dash either hit this part with the metal ring or the dead armor. Because both are circular and smooth, there isn't much recoil, hence are able to lessen the full brunt of attacks. Even if the dead armor gets removed, the Phoenix core has the same width with Ignition Dash's metal ring, so it's the same banana when it comes to deflecting attack power. You can argue that Zwei's upper attack will easily knock it out due to its shape, but remember that Zwei is left spin, so you can always do a weak launch to lessen the risk. So what's happening, guys? Can you dig this combo? Anyhow, we're now down to the home stretch, and it's getting pretty close. Tune in again to find out the final member of the infamous Papa Bay Certified 5G deck. Same Papa Bay time, same Papa Bay channel. Hold on, hold the phone, cut the music, cut the music. Regarding that phone call a while ago, don't think much about it, it's nothing. Really, Saul Goodman. Just forget about it. Let's just do this again, alright? Okay, here we go. Same Papa Bay time, same Papa Bay channel.